Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I want to demonstrate one of our choke conversion kits for the uh, Motocraft 2 barrel 2100. And I have a 2100 here, typical one. I know it's a 2100 because the mounting gasket in the back is uh, indented like this to where a 2150 is straight across the back. It's one of the best ways to tell the difference. And it does make a difference on the choke. So uh, typically these came with a hot air choke or a manual choke. Uh, this will not convert a manual choke. You gotta have this uh, housing on here uh, in, in all the goodies. The uh, uh, pull down right here has to be in here. It's a little piston. Now some of these models have the pull down on here, a little diaphragm. Uh, works for those two, no problem. Uh, but this one uses a piston in there for the pull down. The pull down, what it does is it slightly opens the choke uh, when you uh, tromp on the engine so that it doesn't stall out from uh, not having enough air. All right, so the first thing I did is I took the old choke out and, uh, excuse me, this is the old choke, and see this little tab right here? It fit right in here in this little fork. Um, and I might mention that some of these 2100s, not very many, uh, had a post in the center here with a spring-loaded uh, deal on it. And uh, this particular uh, conversion kit will not fit that. You've got to be careful of that. Uh, we are getting some made that will have a deeper uh, choke thermostat and they'll fit in there without rubbing. And so if you need one of those, uh, chances are pretty good we have them by now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put the ga new gasket on there and we're going to put the new thermostat on here and make sure we get that uh, tab inside the fork there. And it needs to be in there so you can feel, a, feel it closing the choke. Um, and when you're doing this, open the throttle because that will impede the... Uh, there we go, let's turn it the wrong way. Okay, open the throttle so that the uh, fast idle and everything isn't holding the choke valve open. Okay, now what you do is this is you turn it until it closes and then give another about an eighth turn. And you just want some pressure like that uh, to be able to open the choke. So as this heats up, it will open the choke. Uh, so if it's about 70 degrees, uh, you want this uh, turn so that it just takes a little amount of pressure. The colder it is outside, the more pressure you want to do. Uh, you can use these little index marks. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't... This is the way we did it in the, in the old days, but you know, everything was brand new and everything's so worn now, I don't know, one or two index marks uh, may make a, a whole lot of difference. So ju just turn it until it closes and then another eighth turn right around there. Uh, you'll be good, just needs a little pressure. And like I said, uh, at 70 degrees, it's already real, the spring is warmed up. Uh, so it doesn't take much pressure if it's uh, uh, 30 degrees and you want to take a little bit more pressure on it. Okay, so and then we put this back on here Now on the original choke for this carburetor this ring Acted as the ground because the thermostat had a metal band on it and in this case the ground's going to come from our little thermostat or rheostat, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be connected to the manifold. So uh, this has three screws. And by the way, this does come from, with some really good instructions. Uh, so be sure to read those. Then you got this little rheostat thing that goes, uh, uh, you want to get it on the manifold somewhere. You can loosen one of the bolts, put it in there. But when you do, uh, sandpaper where it mounts, you want a real good ground right here. This is your ground. So you want to make sure all the paint and everything is off of where you're mounting this. Just mount it somewhere on the intake. 
Uh, this is what picks up the heat. This is what separates this from a regular electric thermostat. Uh, this is more accurate because it actually picks up heat as opposed to just straight 12 volts. Okay, so simply hook this to the ground. You see it can only go in one terminal, uh, like a so. And then uh, your other one here, you'll hook this to this terminal. Uh, that's your hot side and hook it to a 12 volt source, any 12 volt source. Uh, you can hook it to the stator of the side of the alternator. That's one place. Uh, uh, you, what you want is 12 volts, use a 12 volt meter to figure out what produces 12 volts with the key on, only with the key on. You don't want it to go all the time or it just the choke won't work. So that's important. Um, and then you can use these to uh, uh, stop up this where the hot air was uh, so the cool air doesn't come in there. And you can stop up this one. It's not needed. It's just a vent. Um, and that's what those are for. Okay. And that's it. So what you do, you uh, put it on and turn the key on or get it all connected. And to test it, turn the key on or start the engine. And... Uh, well, let's see. In winter, it should take three to six minutes for it to open. And when it's warmer out in the summer, one to three minutes to open. And there's plus some places like Arizona where you'll probably be open all the time. Anyway, because <laughs> of the heat. There you go. Uh, simple operation to swap your hot air choke, get rid of all this hot air tube stuff uh, into a, a up-to-date electric choke with rheostat. Thank you for watching. And oh, by the way, you can get these at mikescarb.com. We have it for the 2100. The same one works on the 4100. Uh, we have them for AFB. We have them for just about all any of the carburetors. Okay.